In question 2 of this exercise, we have to solve 2x plus 3y equal to 11 and 2x minus 4y equal to minus 24 and hence find the value of m for which y equal to mx plus 3. So we have to solve this pair of linear equations. Essentially we have to find the values of x and y which satisfy both these equations and then we have to find the value of m for which x and y that we found out, the values that we find out from this pair of equations, those values satisfy this equation y equal to mx plus 3. So let's start by first solving this pair of equations. So the pair of equations is 2x plus 3y equal to 11 and 2x minus 4y equal to minus 24. So what we'll do is from the first equation write y in terms of x. So we have 3y equal to 11 minus 2x which means that y is equal to 11 minus 2x by 3. Now I will substitute this value of y into the second equation. So what I will get is 2x minus 4 times y and instead of y I will write 11 minus 2x by 3. So this is the substitution that I am doing and this is equal to minus 24. Now what I get this equation is an equation in x alone. So let's solve it to find the value of x. So we have 2x and we have this second term where the denominator is 3. So let's take the LCM and what I'll get is 6x minus 4 times this numerator. So minus 44 plus 8x by 3. So this is equal to minus 24. Now I have 6x plus 8x. So that's 14x minus 44 and this 3 I can take cross multiply on the right side and I will get minus 72. So this gives me 14x is equal to 44 minus 72 so that's minus 28 and hence x is minus 28 by 14 or minus 2. So x is equal to minus 2 and I can substitute this value of x into this expression for y in terms of x. So y is equal to 11 minus 2x. So 11 minus 2x is 11 plus 4 by 3 or 15 by 3 or 5. So the solution to this pair of equations is x equal to minus 2 and y is equal to 5. And now we have to find the value of m for which these values of x and y satisfy this equation y equal to mx plus 3. So all I need to do now is to find the value of m for which y equal to mx plus 3 or 5 equal to m times minus 2 mx plus 3. So this gives me minus 2m is equal to 2 and hence m is equal to 2 by minus 2 or minus 1. So the value of m for which y equal to mx plus 3 will be satisfied by this these values of x and y that value of m is equal to minus 1 and that solves this question. But now let me talk about an interesting way to think about this question and what it really means. So the two equations given to us were 2x plus 3y equal to 11 and 2x minus 4y equal to minus 24. So these two equations are these two dotted lines that you see in this picture here. So this line is 
the line 2x minus 4y equal to minus 24 and this line is the line 2x plus 3y equal to 11. The solution of this pair of equations is this point of intersection A that you see here and this is the point minus 2 comma 5. In other words, the solution is x equal to minus 2 y equal to 5 which is what we found out. Now the question asked us find the value of m for which y equal to mx plus 3. So what this really means is that from a graphical point of view there will be some value of m for which y equal to mx plus 3 will also pass through this point minus 2 comma 5 and that is the value of m that we had to find and that value of m turned out to be m equal to minus 1 and for m equal to minus 1 the equation we got was y equal to minus x plus 3 which is actually this line which also passes through this point a. So in other words the solution of the given pair 2x plus 3y equal to 11 and 2x minus 4y equal to minus 24 the solution of this pair which is minus 2 comma 5 also satisfies this equation y equal to minus x plus 3. So this is a graphical way to think about what this question really meant. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.